Alright, uh, got an old computer here. And a six shooter. Uh, it's an old HP Windows Millennium piece of shit, so we don't give a crap about it. And I pulled the hard drive out, little 30 gig quantum fireball, just do a little experiment. I got six hollow points left, and I got a whole bunch of full metal jackets. So, we're gonna shoot at this with some hollow points, and then we're gonna shoot at this with some full metal jackets, and, uh, see what difference they make, and blow some shit up. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the hollow points first. These are CCI MaxiMag-V hollow point, uh, 22 bullets. So I'm going to load up six of them here. And I'm um, fairly close to the target. I just want to be accurate for scientific purposes. I'm not the best shot, but it will should be close enough for what I'm doing. Alright, I have six hollow points loaded in my 22 Ruger. And I'll be aiming at the hard drive. Alright, here. You still filming? Okay. My aim wasn't the best, so I'll have to do a little bit better job, but this was a hollow point to the outside here. It did not come through the backside, but it did crack the case. You can see I hit right in the center, and most of the bullet, the lead, is still right there. We didn't even penetrate, but this is also where the uh, discs are underneath here. Oops, I missed. Try that again. <laughs> yep, one more hollow point. Okay. So as you can see, pretty good group here, five, my one shot missed, went overhead, but she's still got some lead right here, didn't quite even penetrate the whole hard drive, the rest kind of went through here, and maybe when I get home for fun I'll take these platters out and see what they look like. But now I'm going to switch over to some full metal jackets, a little bit heavier bullet, and see what damage that does. Alright, so now I'm loading up right now with six of the Remington Magnumfire full metal jackets. And I'll do a similar test, shooting at the hard drive, even though it's already got some holes in it. We'll see how these do compared to our hollow point buddies from CCI. Right away on this one here, I think this is our new hole, and it looks a little smaller than these, these uh, hollow points do. Still no penetration on the back side.
we got two shots left. Oh yeah, that one went all the way through. I must have hit that one in a spot where there wasn't a lot behind it, because you can see here's our penetration hole. Here's our exit hole. Even through the back metal protecting. Bust some circuits right out. But those platters on this side, they could stop some bullets. Wear a hard drive for a metal vest, man. Again, another clean penetration shot with the full metal jacket. Hit here, came out here. But again, that's also just missed the platters. But you can see the ones that hit the platters still didn't make it through. But there you go, there's a test of what a 22 can do to a 30 gig quantum fireball hard drive. Okay, so hard drive's done. So now we've left with uh, the H2 computer. All there except the hard drive, which we have here, I uh, left out for a separate experiment, and I'm going to keep it out. So, no, it's not going to be a whole complete running computer this time, but that will be hopefully the next video. So, again, uh, I'm going to load up with my uh, Remington Magnum Fire full metal jackets, because I only had six of the hollow points left. And uh, we'll get the show back on the road. I uh, just recently in the mail got uh, my FPS Russia shirt. Unfortunately, I wore it yesterday, and I realized today would have been the better day for it. But uh, next video, hopefully, I'll remember to wear my shirt. But I believe we are fully loaded now, ready to take our first shots at the computer itself with, again, Remington 22 Full Metal Jacket Magnum. Um, these first six shots, I'll actually just for the fun of it, try and group near the Windows Millennium product key in the bottom right-hand corner. So, got one, two, three, four, five, six clean penetration shots on this side. Come over here, we got a couple exit holes and a couple more exit holes. Oh, looks like we got a couple that didn't quite make it through a whole computer, but a couple that did. Alright, we'll load up another round of six and uh, this time I'll aim dead center. Okay. All right. Like I said these shots are hopefully be about dead center. Let's see how that goes. All right. Pretty good group in a line there. I'm not the best shot. Oh, but again on the back side, one maybe two shots came out this hole. Looks like a two kind of group, but can't definitely penetrate 22. All right, I will uh, keep the pattern going here, and I'll do my next group of six up here in this corner, and I'll probably throw a group of six down here, and then maybe a group of six over here, and then we'll call it good. You want to always make sure you clean your guns, even after just the few shots I've done to the hard drive and the computer. I'm noticing these bullets aren't necessarily sliding in as easy as they were. You can see there's a little bit of powder residue on them. But uh, if you're using your weapons, make sure to use them safely and always clean them every time, which I will be doing after this computer is all done here. More. for less.
as you can see, penetrated in here, just this top one, and that blew off that case, but that really didn't do a whole lot of damage, and bullet kind of scraped there and tore this. A few shots in here. Looks like I hit one shot a little wide, or actually yeah, that was my penetration shot here, that little tiny hole. So, it doesn't make as big a hole in plastic as it does the metal when it goes in. And nothing came through the other side. Good old cedar arm sideways. That'll stop a 22. Alright, so we got, uh, looks like we'll do about 12 more shots total, a couple more cylinders in worth into this here computer. Call it good. He's been tortured enough. Alright, we're gonna go, uh, bottom left. Looks like I got a double here, so one, two, three, four. Oh, it might have been a double in that same hole. Or I missed. I would be surprised if I missed. And a couple of exit holes on this side. So, depending on where you hit, this one didn't quite make it through. Yeah, it looks like one of my shots went a little high into the plastic. Got a double there, a couple there, and one here. This back side here, we got the blown out plastic. It's probably the one that went in a little high. Blown out through here, and looks like we got one or two blown out here, but obviously another one that didn't quite come all the way through. So if you're standing behind a computer, when somebody starts firing a 22 at you, well, let's hope a hard drive or a CD-ROM or something's in the way. Because a 22 can go through a computer, but not necessarily every time.